Hello there. Hi, namaste to you. My name is Sandeep Patel. Uh, see, you may have heard people saying that if you want to speak confidently, you have to watch English movies. And even I used to believe that, that yes, it's always helpful to watch English movies or web series or TV serials like Friends and all. But then I studied this topic carefully and then I have realized, I have I've spoken to my students, I have taken their opinions, I have done my self-assessment also. Self-assessment means what? I mean, I have seen whether my English has improved or not, how it's impacting, how it's improving. I have realized that watching movies, especially Hollywood movies, will not help you to develop your English. And I have a certain kind of examples or proofs to support my statement. So understand one thing that watching movies, first thing is when you're watching a movie, I have seen that the language they use, that language is not spoken in India. The slangs they use, the street language they use, it's a street language. And in India, the language used is different. Which language is used? The language which I'm speaking. Try to understand this. That language is also different. We, we can call it as dialects. It's different. It changes. Like our Hindi changes. Our Hindi. Hindi changes from, uh, you know, in Delhi it's different. In UP it is different. In Maharashtra the way Hindi is spoken it's different. So the nitty gritties, the details of a language are different actually. When, when, you, are, when you go from one area of the park to another area uh, of the world. So it's a difference. Therefore, when a, a Hollywood actor, they are speaking, they have different language. We don't speak them. We may understand them and we have to understand. Definitely we have to understand if you want to enjoy the movie. But in real life, we don't speak in that way. In India, actually. In US, they, they definitely speak because they are native speakers. But in India, the English which is spoken is like what I speak. Like if you see Indian news channels, if you see the radio news in India, this kind of English is required. Therefore, Hollywood movies, that's one of the reasons why Hollywood movies will not help you to develop your fluency. Second reason I want to tell you is, I know one of my students, he said that he used to watch this movies every day, two to three hours. And then what happened is, instead of focusing on English, he got interested into movies. And he got addicted to movies actually. He used to watch one to two movies every day. Can you imagine? One to two movies every day. Means nearly four to five hours. And in the process, he got addicted to movies. And his English is forgotten. I mean, he was not loud. His focus was not English. His focus was, was just only uh, enjoying the movies. And he told me that sir, instead of English, I was just because I was just listening and understanding. I understood English. I understood what they were saying. But I was now watching, consuming movies after movies every day. And that distracted. My purpose was not to watch movies. My purpose was to develop my communication and my confidence. So this may happen to you. Be careful about this. Now you may be wondering, look, if this is not going to help, what's going to help? I'll explain. The third point now I want to tell here, why movies don't help you. The third point is, when you watch a movie, you watch a movie, you are passive. You're passive. You are not active. Let me explain you with an example. When you're watching something, when you're watching something, you are just understanding it. For example, when you're watching cricket. See, does it mean that when you watch cricket, when you watch cricket, can you play cricket like this? Can you play like them? By watching, you will understand. Oh, cricket, okay, these are the rules. Batsman, baller and all. But can you play? No, you can't play like that. Again, I am repeating, understanding is okay. But to actually go and play, you have to go on the ground. You have to play there. This you understand. Please, I don't want you to waste your time using the wrong methods. Otherwise, see, understand. 23 I'm shooting this video last week of December. Maybe I'll publish this video in January. 24. Time is running out. The, the wrong methods. If you are selecting, you will end up wasting your time and going in the wrong direction. See, it's always said that speed is not important. Direction is important. And getting the right direction is very important. Otherwise, you will be just watching videos after movies after movies web series and you will be addicted to those movies your main purpose was to develop your communication skill that is lost somewhere and now you are addicted to just watching screen time your time is important you may be 20 30 40 your productive years are less now so don't waste your time take the right methods coming back understand if you want to develop as i said before watching movies will not help you then 
the most important thing is speaking actually speaking will help you speaking watching will help you to understand but we don't speak that kind of english it may be addicted and third is just understand watching will not solve the problem the problem will be solved when you talk when you talk you try this in my institute my students i don't want to big make big claims but they improve in 6 months in 8 months in 1 year in 2 years they improve i don't want to make tall claims i will never say in 2 months and 3 months no they improve slowly because now they are actually talking we have more talking sessions and less watching sessions more talking more doing and less watching in fact now to develop the the sentence structure to develop the vocabulary we don't use those those kind of movies we give them some habits which i already have explained in all my videos and they follow those habits judiciously religiously carefully they and that is the reason why they improve dear friend this video i hope will help you to reduce your movie time tv time web series time and help you to bring on the track and take the right methods if you want to be good communicator your habits are important one of the habits is reading habit is very vital very important developing a good vocabulary notebook it's very important listening a podcast is very important and most important is every day one hour or two hours of speaking practice is important if you don't have that please join my online session please don't consider this as i'm trying to sell you something of course i'm selling you i'm not denying i'm selling you something but i'm selling something that is going to help you to get a better job and to be a better communicator thanks a lot for watching this video again namaste to you goodbye thank you